Hey guys, welcome back to Vito's Garage. Thanks so much for watching and tuning in. And this is gonna be a short video. I just want to show uh, a really specific issue on these BMW E34s and just maybe not just these BMWs, but uh, a lot of other cars and what can happen. And basically what happened to this car is Leo has had this problem for a while, which actually sometimes, you know, like one time he had it went away and then it came back again. So basically like you press the brake pedal all the way and then the brake pedal just doesn't come back so there are a lot of different things and uh, aspects that people are talking about but uh, i'll show you actually what we discovered what was wrong with it and we already <clears throat> you know actually fixed it so i just wanted to share this maybe uh, it will help some of some of you guys so stay tuned So here's the Beamer that uh, Leo is restoring. He's had this car for a long time, about like six years or so. But long story short, what was happening with it, I'm about to open the hood and show you more. But when you press the brake pedal, uh, it would literally not come back. So we thought like what's going on and everything. And I actually was thinking at first that maybe something's wrong with a booster or master cylinder and everything, you know. But Leo said that he, you know, actually replaced it, I guess, at some point, And that didn't fix the problem, all right? So I was like, all right, like, so we didn't focus on that. <clears throat> what I started focusing on is I looked at the uh, brake pedal assembly. So I'll have to turn on the light here in a second. All right, so here's the issue with this pedal. You press it down and it just doesn't come back. If you help it, then it comes back, as you can see. And then it just doesn't, all right? This car is in the middle of restoration, so actually a lot of stuff to it but as you can see it's have a has this problem right here and what i noticed is uh i'm going to show you i'm going to show you in a second here i'm going to show you the spring look at this spring right here you see how it's got i can literally like move it by hand almost it's like really weak literally i don't know if it's the wrong type of spring or what's going on but this spring is not really doing anything. It's the job of this spring is to pull the pedal back up. All right, so here is the brake pedal and clutch pedal. Okay, so brake pedal, as you can see right there, it has this spring. As you can see, the spring moves and it's attached on both sides. But the thing is that Leo also has a few of 525i. This is the one that he's gonna be also putting back together at some point, but this is also his daily drive 525i. And when we look at this one, which I'm about to show you, it has a lot beefier spring. Uh, and that spring doesn't, you can't move it by hand any or anything. All right, so here's the spring. I already detached it, you see it's tough right here. Okay. And uh, here's the bolt or nut we're gonna take off, 17 millimeter. I actually have to hold it with the wrench right here from this side. Now to take the spring out, it's a little tricky, I'm guessing. It's the first time doing it, but I'm going to try to press this bolt to the left so I can try to get clearance to take this guy out. I don't know if that's going to work, but hopefully. All right, guys. So now after this bolt is basically out completely, see this brake pedal right here, just kind of hanging like that, as you can see. Now I can go ahead and take this spring out of here, like so. And here's the guy, this is how it sits, this is how we're going to install it, just like that. So here's the difference between both. This came out of this car, 530i, this is 525i. I'm going to try and install this guy now. So, and this spring is actually a lot beefier, so we're gonna install this spring. Yeah, and um, looking at the part numbers, I mean, there are different springs, but we're gonna install this one, because this is a lot beefier. This is supposed to fix the problem. So what we did, <laughs> which this was my idea, actually, <clears throat> I took out the spring out of that car because it's the same 525i, the, the beefy spring, and installed it on this one. And guess what? That didn't fix the problem at all. So it still had like the same problem because I was thinking, you know, you shouldn't be able to move that spring that's in this car because, you know, it should be like really firm and that spring is there to like help you release, you know, bring that brake pedal back into the normal position. But after swapping it, it didn't fix the problem. So we just decided to swap the old original spring from this car back in, you know, so that's, 
you know so then we basically were at square one trying to figure out what the problem is so if you look at this car it's a 525i the spring on this one is so much beefier and you i can't move it by hand and the brake pedal as you can see comes back normally so i thought that maybe something was wrong with the 530 model which is that car but i guess it didn't fix the problem so we reinstalled the or old original spring back onto that car all right, so Leo was also redoing the entire brake system. He installed new brake lines, which as you can see, these are new brake lines that he routed because the old ones were just pretty bad shaped and rusty and all that. So we were bleeding the brakes and everything. And, you know, people are saying, oh, yeah, the you know, you have to bleed the brakes. You have to bleed the ABS unit and all that. But I really, really didn't believe that, you know, uh, because honestly, we have we had all the calipers bled. Everything was good and all that. But, you know, there was no air in the system whatsoever. But the brake pedal was still not coming back all the way. It was it was nice firm pedal, but it just would not come back all the way. You had to use your foot to bring the pedal back up. So then I got really mad. And what I started to do, I started undoing stuff on the brake system. So I started unscrewing the master cylinder. I undid the master cylinder, I just kind of moved it this way out of that way. And then I pressed, I went inside, pressed the brake pedal to see if uh, there's a difference, but it was still no different. The brake pedal was still not coming back. So I knew that it wasn't a master cylinder. Then what I did after that, what we did is, as you can see that pivot right there, there's a pin, as you can see, and it's attached. Uh, so on this system, it's really, really crazy. The brake, brake booster is right here. And then the, uh, there's this mechanism right here with the rod that goes all the way to the brake pedal. It's, it's, it's pretty crazy. But anyway, so we undid this mount right there. We undid it. And, um, you know, we tried the same thing, basically. Press the brake pedal. Just kind of to eliminate the booster, you know, problem with the booster. Tried that, nothing. It's still, the brake pedal was not coming back at all. So after that, I realized, okay, well, it's not a problem with the master cylinder, not a problem with the brake booster, not a problem with bleeding the brakes or anything, not the problem with the spring. So it's got to be the problem with this mechanical linkage, which goes all the way here and kind of right over there, as you can see. And that's where the brake pedal right there connects to all this crazy mechanism. Yeah, it's, it's just like that on these e E34 V8s, how they did it from the factory. It's a pretty crazy system. But anyways, so after that we have to focus on this system and then it's funny we were like both working on this car me and leo and then we were like oh mm. leo was getting me ideas i was getting ideas out and what he told me or what i was like he was like let's try to undo or loosen this uh bolt right here uh this one with the nut so we loosened that okay we loosen that bolt i'll show you here in a second a little better picture okay so this bolt and nut we just loosened that it's a 16 millimeter both sides we just loosened that a little bit and guess what it fixed the problem there's no more issues let me show you i mean obviously we're not doing it right now but you guys have to take my word for it i mean i don't know maybe you'll have some different issues uh on your side whatever but i'll show you this brake pedal right now you see that look at this brake pedal it's coming back all the way now. It's pretty insane. So what I ended up doing, we just, we loosened it, but we kind of uh, then tightened it just a little bit just before it starts like binding up or whatever. And then obviously we had everything looped up here, all these linkages and points and everything. So yeah, but this was the issue. This was the issue. Somehow this bolt was just a little too tight, I guess, or something. And it was causing all that braking issue, the brake pedal not coming back. All right, guys, I hope this uh, video is really helpful. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to donate to the channel. Links are going to be down below. Please help us save amazing old school machines. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.